Roosevelt Museum called Nothing More American, Immigration, Sanctuary, and Community, which is an exhibition of photography and historic works, photography by Matthew Leifheit. It's on view until May 24th, 2020. And it's an exhibition that um, looks at the topic of uh, immigration in relation to a very significant building in Old Lyme, the first Congregational Church's meeting house. So I'm standing here next to a painting of that meeting house, uh, which is located just down the street from the museum. And um, it's a building where in um, 2018, a, a family uh, seeking sanctuary from deportation um, took, uh, took residence uh, in the church. And, um, the church is one that is, was of real significance to the artists of the Lyme Art Colony. Its history is intimately tied to that of the town of Old Lyme. And so this exhibition grew out of wanting to explore the way that that building has evolved as a kind of symbol of American identity. This is an edge that was created by the artist Everett Warner, who was a member of the Lyme Art Colony. And in his era, um, he is painting the church as a symbol of New England heritage. So he has really emphasized it's this whitewashed, traditional New England building with clapboard siding. It's kind of glowing, a sort of ideal place that represents uh, aspirations for um, American society and culture, ideas about equality and democracy that were borrowed from ancient Greece and Rome. Although we're looking at the side of the building, the front of it has classical architecture that um, you know reminds us of those uh, time period and those values. And the idea of painting the church um, and it becoming a subject for artists to respond to is one that emerged in the era of the Lyme Art Colony. The painter Child Masson, who was part of the colony, loved the old Lyme Church uh, building, and he painted a number of pictures of it before it burned down in 1907. It was such an important picture, such an important subject to the artists that the artists do donated money and donated proceeds from the sale of some of their paintings to help rebuild the church so that it would look the same. So the church we have today is the fifth meeting house, but it looks just like the fourth meeting house. And what we see in Warner's painting is that rebuilt church, the way that it looked after it was rededicated in 1910. So he's celebrating this New England building and he's also celebrating the way that it has kind of bounced back from this tragic occurrence of it having burned in the fire. And it's been reasserted as a symbol um, of an American identity that endures. So the church, is a building that shows the influence of classical architecture and values on American culture. And I'm standing here next to a painting by the artist Charles Ebert that we actually borrowed from the First Congregational Church. It's from their own collection, and it shows the front of the building. So you can see the classical columns, this classical architecture. It looks like a temple, even though it is a Protestant um, house of worship. Um, it's got this tall tower, a pediment, uh, and something that looks like it was sort of set down from the ancient world in early 19th century New England um, to represent um, certain concepts and ideas.